Hello and welcome to the newsroom. I am Mary Kanu. Ahead of his presentation of the 19.76 trillion naira 2023 budget to the National Assembly on Friday, President Muhammad Buhari is presiding over a virtual meeting of the Federal Executive Council at the State House in Abuja. Physically in attendance are Vice President Yemiya Shimbajo, Secretary to the Government of the Federation, Boss Mustafa, Chief of Staff to the President Ibrahim Gambari, and Head of Service of the Federation, Falashade Yemiya Son. Of the cabinet members are participating virtually from their respective offices in Abuja. And Justice Halilu Yusuf of the Federal Capital Territory High Court has exonerated the former acting chairman of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, Ibrahim Mago, and Prophet Emmanuel Omali of the Divine Hand of God Prophetic Ministry of 573 million naira money laundry claims. During the investigation of Magu by the Justice Issa Salami led presidential investigation panel, it was claimed that an investigation by the Nigerian Financial Intelligence Unit revealed that the ex EFCC boss paid 573 million naira into Omali's church's account, with which property was allegedly bought in Dubai, the U United Arab Emirates. But in his verdict, Justice Halilu held that the bank claimed that the purported 573 million was wrongly reflected as the credit entry into the divine hand of God Prophetic Ministries accounts by its reporting system, which it recently upgraded. The judge further awarded the sum of 540 million naira as damages in favor of the church. The Academic South Union of Universities, ASU, has said the registration of two new trade unions by the government for academic staff in the university system is inconsequential and does not pose any threat to its existence. The national president of ASU, Emmanuel Osadeke, who made this known in a chat with newsmen on Tuesday, also reacted to the allegation by the presidency that ASU members are complicit in the corrupt practices in the university system, describing such as unfounded. The federal government earlier on Tuesday had registered the National Association of Medical and Dental Academics and the Congress of Nigerian University Academics, explaining that the two bodies will exist alongside ASU. Findings from researchers at King's College in London reveal severe COVID-19 infections can cause immune reactions that damage net cells in the brain, causing memory problems and confusion, and potentially raising the risk of long-term health issues. The findings are preliminary but suggest COVID can trigger neurological problems in patients without the virus having to infect the brain itself. The process is believed to underpin the rheumatism in COVID-19 patients, but may also contribute to other problems experienced by people with lung COVID. And all prices were later changed on Wednesday ahead of a meeting of OPEC Plus producers to discuss a big cut in crude output after gaining more than 3% in the previous session. Brent crude was up 1 cent at $91 a barrel after climbing $2.94 in the previous session, while the US West Texas Intermediate Crude Futures fell 9 cents to $86 a barrel after gaining $2.89 a day earlier. The organization of the petroleum exporting countries, OPEC and allies led by Russia will meet in Vienna later on Wednesday to discuss output quotes of up to 2 million barrels per day. And 10 people have been confirmed dead after an avalanche struck climbers in the Indian Himalayas with 18 other members of the expedition still missing. Several dozen climbing trainees were caught in Tuesday morning snowslide near the summit of Mount Draupadi Kadanda in the northern state of Uttarakhand. The Indian Air Force and local disaster agency were assisting with rescue efforts before heavy snow and rainfall forced them to abandon the search overnight. Hello in sports, the Ogun State Governor Dakbar Biodu has announced a cash reward of 5 million naira and a house to World Commonwealth and African 100 meters hurdles champion Olua Tobi Amusan. The governor also named Amusan an Ogun State Sport Ambassador. While receiving Amusan, Biodu commended her doggedness, resilience, and determination to excel, urging other youth to emulate the athletes and develop their natural talents. Well, that's all of the newsroom. Thank you for watching. I am Mary Kanu. Bye for now.